The Seven Stages of Property Development with Carly Crutch Film, brought to you by C Corp and presented by Carly Crutch Film. So let's go through the main seven steps to any development. You have to understand these stages to be able to actually develop property. It starts with finding a site. We then move forward to site analysis, financial feasibility, financing, plans approved, construction, and selling. Those seven stages are almost always involved and you have to have a grip on all of them to be able to be a developer yourself. Now you don't have to be able to do every single one of them. You don't have to be licensed or extremely educated in every single one of them. But you do need to have an understanding of the steps, how they relate to each other and you need to be able to control the professionals who are going to carry out those steps for you. So let's look at them in a little bit more detail. Site finding. This is where you're going to have to go out, actually find a property that is a potential development. Once you find the property that's a potential development, we then look at doing site analysis. Things you want to look at are your demographics and you don't want to rush into a property at this stage. This is the careful research which is going to prove to you whether or not you should be going ahead with the deal. You're going to be looking at the market, the comparative developments that are on the market, the ability to develop the property, the land itself and many other factors that will help you if you research them now before you get involved in the deal. Once you've analysed the site, you need to do a financial feasibility. The most important thing here is to have accurate figures. You do a feasibility using a calculator or a software that is specifically for property development. Don't do it on the back of a napkin. You can start with that, but most certainly that shouldn't be your final decision. A professional feasibility calculator will help you work out all of the costs, and at the end it will give you a profit in both percentage and dollars. You need to be going for more than 20 to 30% profit in this market. Don't just look at the dollar figure because the dollar figure might sound good. Say it says you're going to make $200,000. That might be impressive. But as a percentage, that might only be 5%, which is not really good in the long run and doesn't leave you enough margin for error, which can naturally occur in property development and in a moving property market. Now once we think we've done the good feasibility, we've got accurate figures and we're happy with that profit percentage, then we would move on and look at how do we get finance. Don't just look at your normal loans, get creative, look at commercial loans as well. There's a lot of options for finance out there. Get a good broker who knows the market, who's connected to commercial and residential lenders and who's able to give you both of those options so that you really are aware of how you can get finance and what rates you're able to get. Now banks aren't the only way to get finance. You can also go for vendor financing, you could get investors to finance your deal. There's a lot of creative ways to make that deal work if the deal works in terms of the feasibility. Once we've got our finance in place, you have to go ahead and make sure all your planning is done. Building is very important, but before you ever start building, you've got to plan. Does your property have a development application approved? You've got to get that DA done. If it doesn't, you may want to look at doing options. Options are an incredible strategy that will save you a lot of holding costs or interest on a loan while waiting for planning. You don't want to be paying out dead money while waiting to see whether or not council will approve your development site. So what you can do is actually lock the site away without having to pay the overheads by using an option. Then you get all your planning in check. You talk to your draftsman or your architect, your engineer, whoever the consultants are that you're using. You deal with council and you get that DA approved. Once your planning is in place, you're able to start building. When building, you need to consider project management. Building has a lot of different trades involved and you can't just let them all do their thing. Somebody has to manage them. In some cases, this may be the builder themselves if it's a smaller project. If the builder doesn't have project management experience, you may need to hire a project manager or do it yourself. There's a lot of paperwork, scheduling, organization that is very important to any development site to be successful. So make sure that either you or a qualified and organized project manager is going to be managing it for you. This will save you money and time and go a long way to helping you make sure your development is going to be successful. Once we've built, we need to consider selling. Now, even though selling is stage seven, it really should be considered at the beginning. You could start selling at the very beginning of the construction phase, not at the end. You need to have a strategy, whatever you're going to do. 
Why would you sell at the beginning rather than the end? Well, it locks in your sales. It de-risks the project. If you wait till the end of the build, you've then got more interest costs as you now take the property to market and wait to see if somebody wants to buy and then settle on it once they do decide to buy. You could be doing all that simultaneously while building. So the second it's built, you're able to actually settle on your sales and get that income and profits in on the deal. It gives you the money faster and it cuts down your interest holding costs, which of course increases your profits. Those are the seven stages of property development. To find out more about property development, you might want to order our free property development DVD, which goes into these seven stages in a lot more detail. To order the DVD, you can go to www.cdevelop.com.au or call our office on 02 9371 4799 or just send us an email at info at